Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the co-founder of AWE, Ori Inbar. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to Augmented World Expo 2015. How are you guys feeling today? I have a question for you. Are you ready for your superpowers? Yes. That wasn't what I meant. Guys, we need to see that you're ready for that. Are you ready for your superpowers? Yes. That's much better. So how many of you are here for augmented reality superpowers? Nice. How many for VR superpowers? Nice. How about wearables? Nice. And Internet of Things? Anybody? Very nice. So first, I want to thank all of you who have been with us since 2010 when we founded this event. It was founded by AugmentedReality.org, a nonprofit organization with a mission to advance augmented reality in order to advance humanity. But this year, we decided to bring together three communities, wearables, augmented reality, and virtual reality. So to that end, we partnered with Upload VR, and we are wearables to get us basically a, a stronger voice on a bigger stage. You want to hear our voices on a bigger stage? Yeah. All right, so give it up to Taylor Freeman and Tom Emmerich. Thank you, Ori. Thank you so much for inviting us to be part of the AWE family. And really, thank all of you for being part of the AWE and now Upload VR and We Are Wearables family. It's truly incredible to be part of this community. You guys are really paving the way. Um, so quick question. How many of you are really committed to this? How many of you wake up every single morning fully focused on AR, VR, wearable tech, and Internet of Things? Show of hands. Look around. That's amazing. This is because of you. We're enabling people to be able to practice surgeries before they go in and perform it for the first time, significantly decreasing their chance of error. We're allowing people to experience chemistry from the perspective of a cell or an atom so that we can gain a deeper insight into the nature of existence. And ultimately, everything you're doing is allowing us to interact with, human, or with computers in a human way. So I just really want to thank you guys for that. You're really bringing superpowers to the people. So it's, it's huge. Thanks, Taylor. Yeah, and helping to pave the road to the future is exactly what we're doing at We Are Wearables as well. We're on a mission to foster adoption and facilitate innovation in wearable tech, and we do that by rallying communities together to discuss and discover and demo wearable technology and act as a hub for collaboration and storytelling. And we really believe in the power of bringing people together in order to move the needle for emerging technologies. And so we're humbled and honored to be working with AWE and Upload VR this year. Thanks, Tom. You know, guys, individually, our communities have limited power. But when we're together, we have the power to change the world. So superpowers to the people. Woo! Yeah. Give it up, Ta Tom and Taylor. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So can these technologies really give superpowers to the people? Can they really make us better at anything we do in work or life? So we put together this infographic that shows a collection of examples of how these superpowers are currently already making a difference. Like mastering skills instantly. Take this uh, technician, the faster-than-light technician, that has the knowledge of all the documents in the world in their field of view and can solve a problem in real time faster than anything before. Or take the ability to manipulate things like designers with telekinesis that can manipulate things around and create better designs. Or how about body powers like athletes that can constantly improve their performance and achieve super strength. And of course, mind powers like Retailers that can read their customer minds and always improve their products. And finally, superhuman abilities like nurses with x-ray vision that can see your veins under the skin and never miss an IV injection. And you know what's cool about these superpowers? This is not science fiction. It's not even the far future. 
This is happening right now. And this is how things are playing out already. This year, by the end of the year, we expect about a million units of AR and VR headsets to be sold. Next year, it's going to grow to 10 million units. And at that point, we'll see what we call a major shakeup, where we see a lot of investments and major um, M&A activity. And then it's going to hit the early majority, and by the end of the decade, decade will conquer the mainstream. And what's crazy is that at some point we'll have this inflection point, you know, when a new technology outsells an old, older technology, like when DVDs outsold VHS. At some point in the future, we'll see more smart glasses sold than smartphones. When is that going to happen? Well, it took smart, smartphones about 10 years to get from zero to one billion. And if history teaches us anything, is that these cycles only get faster and faster. So, so we um, anticipate that this is going to happen, this inflection point is going to happen in under 10 years from now, which is pretty crazy. And Tim Morell from DJ Capital predicts that by 2020, the revenue for AI and VR will hit $150 billion. Wow, that's all I can say. And you know, there's a whole ecosystem of companies that are driving this growth, from the compute platform to hardware manufacturers and all the suppliers, tools creators, as well as application and content providers that are delivering this content to the end users in all the different verticals. And what's great is that all of these guys are right here, which is awesome. So give it up to 208 awe-inspiring speakers right here at AWE. <laughs> and 102 amazing exhibitors right next door. Yes, give it up. And of course, our awesome sponsors that really made this event possible. So give it up. And you know, some pundits are saying that these companies are driving the next big leap in computing. Is that hype? Well, I say not enough. I think this could be the next big leap for mankind. Hear me out. You guys know Engelbert's Law? Anybody? It's basically about the idea that humans always get better at getting better. They improve on improvements, and that leads to exponential human performance. Let's take a look at some of the key milestones in human evolution. Language arguably created the Homo sapiens. They enabled one-to-one -one complex communication that enabled complex social structures. Writing created civilization because it allowed to share knowledge on a one-to-many level, drive laws, and create cities. And print ushered the uh, Renaissance and the modern era because it allowed many-to-many -many communication on a larger scale. And then, of course, the internet made it all faster and connected us all. But what's happening now, these technologies featured in this show are really changing the game. They're giving us super abilities. They're really making us better at anything we do. And you guys, you are the Avengers. You are, the, you are leading this movement. And you know how the saying goes, with great power. Exactly. So I have a question for you. Are you going to use those superpowers for good? So here uh, at AWE, we try to do good. I mean, we brought you all together, right? But here are a few commitments that we have for this year to you guys. First, we delivered a smart glasses market report, which provides an overview of the market, the key players, the adoption curves, some of the challenges, and how to overcome them. And so far, you liked it pretty well. So we'll keep on doing these things. We're also creating right here at the conference the largest collection of industry use cases, proof points of how companies are using these technologies to improve their businesses in a measurable way. And we're also working on a buyer's guide to educate the market about how these superpowers can do all these things and sell more of those superpowers. And this week, we also have 
a workshop, an industry roadmap workshop that will kick off an initiative to help, help uh, synchronize the different efforts around the, the, the industry and help accelerate it. And finally, we'll continue to bring together investors and startups, vendors and buyers beyond North America. We're going to Asia pretty soon and right after to Europe. So these are our commitments to you guys. And let's see what's happening right here at AWE this week. We've structured the event into three things, three days. Learn, demo, and inspire. Yesterday, we had a bunch of tutorials and workshops for enterprises, designers, developers, and builders. And for those of you who couldn't make it, or those who couldn't get into the room, sorry about that, you'll be able to watch this on YouTube in a few days. Today, after the press conference that is happening right here, the expo opens next door, and then we'll have three tracks, some super cool panels, the largest collection of industry use cases, and some amazing product introductions. And tomorrow, we're going to have some truly inspiring speakers. We have the grandfather of AR and VR right here on stage. We're going to have the father of wearables give a keynote, and 12 other awe-inspiring speakers. We also have a dedicated VR track hosted by Upload VR, and for the first time, we're going to have speed networking to make your time here even more efficient. I think it's going to be awesome. So before I let you go to explore everything, make sure to go mobile. Download the Visible app, double Z, all right? Find AWE 2015 and join the community. It will give you the latest agenda, and it's also a great way to connect with attendees and speakers and, uh, and uh, exhibitors. And also know that we have augmented badges with NFC chips in them, so when you get into a session, you get scanned, and then you get a customized feedback form. So show some love to your speakers and rate them uh, in, those, in those forms. You could actually win some Epson glasses if you do so. And this year, for those who cannot attend in person, we have a bunch of these beams that can allow people to teleport right here. So when you say them, be nice and say hi. And how about those goodie bags? Do you like them? Did you see those folding cubes in there? Download the app and you can have this amazing fight when you put these two cubes together. And if you want more games, we actually have the AWE Game Challenge in the hall produced by Kachum, where you can play on 10 different ODG glasses, and those with the highest score can actually win a pair of ODG glasses. And tonight at 7 p.m. right here on this stage, we're going to recognize the best of the best in this space. Our sponsors are going to give out Augie trophies to the winners in different categories. And tomorrow, one more category for the best in show. The way this best in show is going to be determined is by you guys liking exhibitors in the mobile app. So make sure to do that. And tomorrow, before the event wrap up, the event will hit a, a boiling point with this historic AR versus VR debate. I can't wait for that. And also can't wait to thank the awesome team behind this event that truly made this awesome. So give it up to these guys group of super friends are doing an amazing job day and night. And how about this shirt? It's a little shout out to women in high tech. Next, we have a press conference on the stage. For now, I'm signing off. I want to thank you for joining us today. Go get your superpowers. Thanks very much. <laughs>